Hey guys, it's Ayla. So this makeup look is going to be for our gay makeups during the season. It's super easy. It's just a light blue smoky eye with a rosy pink lip. It's really easy to do. It took me about five minutes and I just am going to show you how to do it right now. Okay. I already have one side of my face done and now we're going to go into it. I have this Wet n Wild palette and this is what we'll be using. So first I'm going to start off with my primer. If you have a primer, just use a primer. If you don't, it's not that big of a deal. I just like it because it'll help keep the makeup staying on day. And when you're in the hot, sweaty weather of Florida, you're going to want normally a primer. Okay, so when you use a primer, you're going to normally want to set it with a base. So I'm going to use the white all over my eyes. And that's just going to lock it in and help if you have veins or any spots blending. It makes it a lot easier. So next, we're going to take the one that says eyelid on it. It's the bright blue right here. And I'm going to be using a fluffy brush. And you're just going to start taking it in the outer V and up into the crease. So this is going to give you depth. And that's the main blue all through here. The best way to do it is to start off with a light hand and then build up once you like the shape. Now that you have both sides blended and you have them equal, you're going to want to go in with the base white up at the top. If you don't have a flat brush like this, you can just use your fingers. I just have the brush. And you're going to go under the brow bone. This is going to help lift your brow bone up and kind of give you that more sharp, you know, nice brows. Just bring it all together like that. Then you're going to take the one that says eyebrow or eye bone what the heck oh brow bone take that out after <laughs> the one that says brow bone it's like a pearly light blue that's gonna go from where your iris is all the way into the inner corner doing so this will give you more of a three-dimensional look and it'll just be sparkly so then you'll bring that into the inner corner, like so. And you can take a little bit of your white and a little bit of the blue. Match that up, like so. And really this is just about building colors until you see what you like. Making sure both sides are all equal. And if you lost some of that pigment of the blue, just tap it in a little bit, go back up. See, I personally went for more of a round shape because it'll make your eyes look more round. And it's not as hard and intimidating as like the intense cat eye that's really sharp. This, you just kind of follow the crease. That's that, that inner part that you can tap your brush into, just following along there and up onto the brow bone. Just make sure both sides are equal even and that's about it for the eyeshadow okay now that the eyes are done it was so easy it took me probably a minute to do then you're gonna do your mascara I'm using the Maybelline Colossal you can use whatever mascara you have okay so now that we have the mascara on I'm a very messy person with my mascara because I like very big eyelashes so as you can see in here I got mascara so what you can do is wait for it to dry. You have to make sure it's fully dry or else it'll smudge. You're going to take a clean Q-tip and you're just going to gently flake away all that mascara that got on your lids. If it's not fully dry, it's not going to flake. It's just going to smudge and you're going to have this gross black smears all over your eyes. And then sometimes it can get down onto the lower part of your eye. I'll just clean it up under my eyelashes a little, like so.
And that way you don't have to take makeup remover and have to start all over like that. Then sometimes I might just take a little bit of the whatever blue's left over on that brush and just kind of brush it over the spot just to clean it up. Kind of blend it in case anything a little smudgy. Okay, now the eyes are done. Okay, so now I'm going to just put on a little bit of concealer just because I cleaned up under my eye a little just to get some of that blue fallout. I recommend if you are going to do this and you do wear foundations and you know face makeup, do your eyes and then your face. That way, you know, there you don't have to remove makeup and then reapply after. It just makes it just saves time in the long run. And this is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. And then over that, I'm going to use my Makeup Forever HD. You do not need to use these. This is just what I personally use because I love it. Okay, so the next product I'm going to be using is the e.l.f. Contour Blush and Bronzing Powder. I had just got this the other day, and I was super surprised at how pigmented this bronzer is. So you either should use a blush or a bronzer because when you take photos, generally it removes a lot of your makeup and it, you'll lose a lot of depth in your face. So like, you'll think that you look like a three-dimensional, but then the photo will make you look more flat. And, you know, it just, it looks a little bit better when you have more dimension to your face. So I recommend either using a blush or a bronzer. This blush is a little bit more sh on the shimmery kind of highlighted side. Sorry if I'm blinding you. So it's just, it's just got like a nice glow to it. It's not like super pink as you can see. It's just got a nice like shimmery glow. And I like to apply a little bit to my nose, the tops of my cheeks, maybe on your chin. Just kind of blend it. And then just, I like to blend it all together. Alright, so most games we will be doing a bright rosy pink. I decided to do rosy pink instead of red all the time because red and blue can be a little out there and not every girl is used to wearing red lipstick like I am. So I thought a rose would look better on most people's skin tones and it will be, people will be more comfortable to get used to brighter lipsticks using more of a rosy, reddy pink. It's a little bit more natural and... It looks good on most people's skin tones. Okay, so some games will be doing just the matte lip, but this is what it looks like with no gloss. I also added a gloss in case we wanted to do a gloss some games. This gloss is definitely more on the chapstick feeling side, like it is not sticky, it is not very goopy, it's very just nice sheen, it doesn't feel uncomfortable on the lips. And this lipstick is so matte that I feel like this adds more moisturizing to your lips. And it's definitely very glittery, so it adds that extra oomph. So if you want to spice it up some games, you could go with the gloss. So we're going to be doing reds some days. And depending on your skin tone, you're either going to want an orangey red or more of a blue red. Now, I will tell you which color would suit you better. But generally, if you have lighter eyes, like blue, green, you would normally want to go with a, more of a blue and if you have more dark eyes, you're going to want to bring out that like more honey color in brown eyes. So generally you'd go with more of an orange. I'm going to show you with the deeper blue because I have blue eyes. Okay, so this is what it looks like with the bright red. Now the red and blue is a little bit more out there. So we would normally be doing that more for competitions. But we will have, be having a full competition makeup coming out very soon. So the last thing to do is to use a finishing spray. I prefer to use this MAC Fix Plus one. It is in the original one. This one is more on the dewy side, so that means it's going to give you more of that glowy, kind of youthful look. It's definitely more pricey, so if you don't have the money to spend on this, you don't have to. There's definitely better alternatives at the drugstore. This is just what I have. But a better alternative is this one from NYX. It's the matte, matte finish one. So if you like more of a matte look, this is the one for you. It's definitely way more cheaper, and you can get it at a drugstore and find it anywhere. I'm going to just use this one because it's the one I like, but this one is totally 
fine too. I used this for competition last year and it made my makeup stay all day from the morning all the way till when the game finished. So just spray it. Normally you want to spray it in an X then a T. Either one. Okay, so as you can see, my face has more of a glow as I turn it. It's a little bit more shimmery or dewy as you know I like to call it. I really like how it looks like this. Okay guys, this is the final look. It's a blue smoky eye with a rose pink lip. It's really easy to do. It took me about six minutes and with some practice you guys will be able to do it super fast and easy. I hope you guys really liked it. Everything will be down below in the description box. Also, I will be having our competition makeup coming out very soon and hair tutorials. Be sure to keep a lookout for those. I hope you like it. Have a good day. Bye.